Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to sh quickly go over a few different ways to search for files from your Linux shell using the find command and search through files by date. Uh, so here I am, I'm in a directory that has a backup of pretty much all my photos I've taken with my cell phone uh, over the last seven months or so. So let's go ahead and of course if I just list, I can list them all out, photos and videos. Uh, but let's say, and then the find command of course will list them out differently, but list them out nonetheless. Let's look at this and let's go ahead and try to find all files that are were updated in the last uh, day, uh, which actually may not re result in anything because I haven't backed, I'm backing things up to a new folder now. But let's go ahead and just say find, if I could type today, find dash newer MT, and I'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, if I say one day ago, and oh, there's one video in the last day. But I can also say three day, I can say day or days. It, it knows what I mean. It will return the same thing. It's fairly smart. Last 30 days or last five days. Oops, five days. Okay, so uh, how does this work? What does this mean? Well, obviously, dash newer means newer. And if I was to man, oops, look at the manual, so man find. I can look at, let's see, I'm gonna search for birth. So here's the section where it talks about this. So newer and then X, Y, X and Y can be one of these here. We're doing uh, MT, so we're doing modified time. And then we're also doing uh, reference the last uh, interpreted directly as a time. Uh, basically we're looking at the last, uh, sorry, blah, blah, blah. M is modification, so that's the last time that file was modified. And then we're also saying we're giving it a time. So that's what date is. So we're saying look at the last time it was modified. You can also look at things like the last time the file was accessed or birth time. Uh, but you know, use whatever fits your situation. So let's go back to that. Now that we know what that means and look at it again, I can say um, 15 days. So newer than uh, modified time of 15 days ago. And there we go. I can, instead of 15 days, I can say one month and it knows what I'm talking about. I can say 10 months. I can say one year. Okay, so we have a few different things here and it's listing out the files. If we want more information on these files, we can add to the end of that command dash ls and now find will list it out uh, as ls with all the information there. So you have all the permissions and uh, file size and dates and all that stuff listed there as well. Uh, other options, so we're looking at newer. Uh, another option you could do is instead of, um, let's just do this, find, I can also say m time and I can say dash um, one and that will be minutes or no, I'm sorry, days, that's one day. So I can go one day, so minus means going back now 10 days. So that's another way to write it. Uh, I can also say instead of M time, I can say M min and it'll go back 10 minutes, which there's nothing new in there in the last 10 minutes, 100 minutes, 1000 minutes. I'm not sure if there's a limit. There we go. Uh, so 10,000 minutes back, but you can go back a certain number of minutes. So if you want to see everything new in the last 10 minutes and do something with them, you can do that. Another option is uh, going back to our way of doing it before. Instead of saying one year ago, let's say I want to say from a certain date. So since February 1st, and by default it will know of this current year or the last February 1st. So there we go. Or I can say March 1st and we'll bring up everything since March 1st. Uh, so that's everything that we've gone over, everything newer since a given time or date. Let's, let's say we want stuff that's older. Well, going at our previous commands here, the um, dash m minute, instead of one, I can say plus one instead of minus one. Now it's showing everything more than a minute old or more than uh, 100 minutes old. You know, so if you want to do in the last hour, I can date everything uh, that's older than the last hour. So don't show what's been put in there in the last hour or modified in the last hour, everything before that. So now we're going older instead of newer. Uh, we can also do uh, dash T or dash time, I mean. Uh, so now I'm saying this and I can say before we did um, minus one and that showed us everything in the last day. Well, if I do 
plus one, I'm showing everything older than a day, or older than 10 days, or older than 100 days, or older than 1,000 days, which is nothing because there's nothing before the new year in this folder. Okay, so we've looked at uh, newer, and we've looked at things older. Let's look at trying to find things uh, between a certain date. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say find. We're basically going to combine two things here. We're going to say dash newer mt, so modified time, and we'll give it a date. Uh, and again, it's very smart. You can write this many different ways. But I'll just say uh, 2019, uh, January 1st. So we want everything that is newer than January 1st, exclamation mark, that is not newer with the modified time of 2019-February 1st. Uh, so here, I'm asking for everything between January 1st and February 1st. Boom, those are the files from then. I can say till March 1st. So February 1st, March 1st. I can say from February 15th to March 10th. And will give me those files. And again, you can add, add the dash ls at the end to if you want more information on those files. Alternatively, we wrote out the full date. But again, it's fairly smart. If I wanted to get things that were from February 1st, I can say February 1st to March 1st. And it will give me everything from February 1st through Mar or to March 1st. And uh, again, it will default to you know be smart current year or previously passed. But if I want to, I can give it a year. Again, there's there's nothing in this file folder from 2018 because we're in my 2019 folder. So that's not going to return anything. But you could do that. It's very smart with the dates. So anyway, I hope that was awesome. I'll try to remember to put a link in the description uh, to uh, my... Uh, scripts page where there will be notes on, on paste spin on this basically showing what we did here but again the man file man find will also give you this information but there's a lot of stuff because find can do a lot of stuff um so yeah have fun with that uh but everything i did in this video i'll try to remember to put a link in the description of this video regarding that also one last thing i'll mention you can do this again with all your um regular find commands. So here we go, we'll do that. So here you can see that there's a GIF or a GIF, whatever you want to say it in here, and an MP4. If I want to, I can run that same command. And I should be able to say dash name, asterisk JPEG, and now it's only going to search for JPEGs. I can do dash I for case insensitive, because I know my uh, Canon camera puts capital uh, JPG, so that'll be case insensitive. So you just use this with all your you know, regular fine commands. You can also give it a directory. You know, it's by default using the current directory. I can do forward slash for my root directory, or I can do uh, the um, tilde for home directory or dollar sign home search your whole home directory, or give it a full path to where you want to search. It's up to you for whatever your uses are. I do thank you for watching, and please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description there. You can search through all my videos. There's a support section that will link you to my Patreon page or a link to PayPal if you'd like to support me that way. That would be awesome. Check out the links in the description of the video as well. And if you did like this video, think about sharing, subscribing, commenting, all that great stuff. I hope that you have a great day.